I'm going to show how to set up a slow-mo replay with a stinger in and stinger out using vMix. Now the first job is to set up the, uh, the stinger video which is a short clip about one second long. Now the main thing you notice on this is that I've set the background as bright green uh, and this will actually become transparent when we, uh, when we play the stinger in vMix. show you how to do that in a while. We add the stinger video onto as an input into in vmix uh, and here's the uh, the general properties I've set automatically play with transition and automatically restart with transition so no matter what happens whenever I invoke the stinger it always starts again from the beginning no matter how uh, how it finished we move on to the uh, color key for the stinger now the important thing here is that the color key box is uh, ticked and you can use the little eyedropper uh, which is uh, shown there to select a part of the background which will become transparent uh, and that's shown in the uh, in the little green square there if uh, we move on now to the uh, the overlay properties the sting actually processes an overlay so we invoke overlay and we look at overlay number one I've only got the basic version of vmix so I've only got one overlay anyway uh, and the important thing here is that the stinger cut point is set to something other than zero. The stinger cut point dictates when the preview window becomes the live window um, during the playing of the stinger video. Uh, choose a value greater than zero and fiddle about with it until you get a nice uh, a nice transition. And we move on. Last but not least, we set up. I've set up a um, numpad two to be the uh, key which invokes the stinger and which swaps the preview window with the live window. Uh, if we have a look at the properties of that it's fairly straightforward uh, numpad 2 and the function is overlay input 1. So having set all that up the next thing to do is to actually play the video. Uh, don't worry too much about the quality of the video um, it's actually shot on a high definition 3 MOS Panasonic uh, camera but of course to in, order, in order to be able to stream it we've had to uh, boil it down to something that looks like it's been uh, filmed on a mobile phone that was the try scored I'm fiddling about now trying to do the uh, sort out the replay start point uh, so we're still live I've worked out how to uh, where to start the replay from I press the number 2 key there's your stinger and there's a slow-mo replay And that's just about the end of it. So I press the num2 key again, and there's the stinger, and we're back live. Now, whilst this is going on, I'm actually working out where to restart the uh, slow mo replay from. Again, fortunately, uh, that doesn't seem to be remembered from one uh, playing of the, the slow mo replay to the next. So I've had to go back and uh, reset the start point. So when this uh, live kick is gone, There we go, and he's missed. Press the number two key again, and there's the replay. Haven't started it from quite the right place, but that's uh, neither here nor there. There's no sound either, I've turned the sound off. And press the number two key again. There's your stinger, and we're back live. And that's the uh, that's the end. That's all there is to it.